Okay. Yeah, there we are. Okay. I had disconnected my, um, I had disconnected my, uh, interface recently because I cleaned up my room and stuff, so I guess, I guess it didn't boot in correctly on OBS, but here I am. Hello. Hello, everyone. Let me make sure I should have... Okay. Can't hear the game audio. Hold on a moment. Hmm. Right, that is correct. Monitor and output. Let's see like this. There it is. There it is. Sometimes you gotta do some weird stuff to get to work. Let me actually turn it down a little bit. Cool. Uh, let's see, what am I off to do? Well, let's see what current requests are. How do I, yeah, I always forget how to do this. It's kind of a cumbersome interface, frankly. But, um, hmm, let's see, I need to catch a big weasel. Uh, something about Trifloon, Cricketot, Cherim, Pokeshi doll, how do I make a Pokeshi doll? Hold on a second, maybe that'll be my my goal here. Kokeshi doll. I need wood. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get some wood. Make a Pokeshi doll, here we go. Um. I think the Heights Camp might have more options, but we'll find out. Alright, so... So far I've only found one piece of wood. And it was... Uh, I wasn't able to pick it up because my pack was full. Let's... Let's see. I don't, I don't even worry about you guys. What, what, what? I guess it'd be... By fallen trees? Rather than just regular trees. I don't know, though. Let's, uh... Let's see if I can spot it. I'm running around here. Because it seems like it'd be easy to get. It's just wood, right? There's trees all over the place, but, uh... I guess maybe not. Found at least one piece earlier. Where was that? Somewhere. Somewhere out and about. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, that is too far of a fall, I can already tell. What about this, though? Is this is this an acceptable fall? Yeah, that's not too bad. Can you... Can you leap? Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well... That wasn't great. Okay, so he can't jump. I mean, he can't jump very far at all. Oh, wood. Wood. There we go. There's one piece. One of three I need to get. So this actually seems like it'd be a bit trickier. I guess I'm, I'm too based in Breath of the Wild mindset. Because, uh... Breath of the Wild, you can get wood super easy. Just run up to any tree and chop it down. Here, I'm having some bubbles. I 
Whoop, there's some wood. Nice. We just need one more piece. Whoop. Is that it? No, that's a leak. Where is all the wood? That's not a big weasel. I guess, yeah, I'm also on the lookout for Big Weasel, although I don't think I'm even in the Weasel area currently. Ooh, he's angry. Don't mess with him. There's some trees. Do they got wood, though? That's my question. No. What, what, what? Oh, what was that? What's big boy? Cool. Have fun with that. I am gonna keep on looking for wood. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh, that's pretty much even though I can use those. Sword cap. Oh my god, it's a parasite. There he is. Little oh, bug. Little oh, bug man. I always like parasites. They're cute. Um. I mean, I like a lot of Pokemon, frankly. too hard to pick a favorite, but, you know. I'm never unhappy. Whoop. Hey, bud. Uh, hey. Whoop. Sorry. No thanks. Just, just, just some wood. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just looking for something. Don't worry about it. Don't even fret. Okay, later. Need some wood. Where is he? Where would it be? Where would it be? We presume around trees, but there's barely any around the trees. Oh, come on, a little more. There we go. Whoop! Yeah, there it is. I think I'm just in a loop. Right? Yeah, there's the camp again. Hmm. Let me check up in these nooks real quick. Ah, is that, no, that's a, oh, that's a shiny Cricketot. Oh, no. That scared him. No, I scared him away. Yep. Didn't even notice until it was too late. I'm a fool. I didn't specifically want Cricketot or anything, but, you know, shiny's a shiny. Who's that? Just a dude hanging out. Good for him. I hope he has a wonderful time. And I have definitely been down here. So. That's all right, let's cross the river and check the other side. I remember seeing some wood up in this area. Oh, that's a shinx. There we are. So maybe I'll be able to get, get it again. Hmm? 
Wood. There it is. All right. How long did that take? 10 minutes. Hardly anything. All right, let's craft a Bokeshi doll. Then let's... And let's, uh... Head back, head back home. All right, let's get out of here. All right, uh, oh right, I should turn on the guidance because I don't remember who it was. Oh, yeah, it's the crafting guy. That makes sense. What's up? Mm, what's this? I a Bokechi's doll if I ever saw one. Please, let me have a closer look. Amazing. Just look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors! You've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. Ooh, thank you. I've savored your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We used the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look. <coughs> Excuse me, and see how it differs from the one you made. Thanks. So the reward for making the doll is another doll. Okay. <coughs> I'll take it. Let's see what we need. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I need a ground type Pokemon. I need some hearty greens. The Wisps. Okay. I haven't even run into Cherim. Krikata. I can do the Krikata one. Search for Hardy Greens. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So there are some Krikatot down this way. We gotta get past the Geo dudes. Let's end the switch. Yeah, to the Pokeballs. Excuse me, fella. Oh, there's a wisp. Hold on. Let me grab a wish. Can I get the wish? I think I'll get the wish. Would you like a wish? Okay. How do I get up this way? Might need to go around the other way, actually. Are Krikatot only a daytime Pokemon? Is that why I haven't seen any? Wood. Ooh! There's a... Uh, Alpha... Not Crobat. Golbat up there. So we can 
have to get around him. That works. I think it'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Let's grab that for one of these. Right, touch it. Touch it. Touch it. There we go. Cool. And then, yeah, I guess I gotta waste the time to do brick top. Oh, nope. There's one. Yes, me. Ah, dip. Ah, dip, he saw me. Oh, mm, great. Krikaton, one of the nervous Pokemons. All right. Okay, okay. Um, I just need to catch a few more of those. I think I'll have to eat some. I mean, I'll have to check the Pokedex to be sure. But I think, I think we're good. Nice. Here's another one. Can I hit him from this distance? Yes. Bam! That's like right at the end of the range. We got out! See, why can't you go pick up the ones that failed though? You know, like in a lot of Pokemon games, yeah sure, whatever. Like here, you gotta really abstract that. The more realistic you make a game, the more you have to stipulate on uh, the circumstances or something. What was it? Uh, what was it? Ego Raptor said, and that's Equalitis. Something like that. But it's effectively that the less you abstract a game, the more explanations are required. So like, in original Pokemon, it's like, well, you don't have to think about it that hard. It's silly fantasy in like a squid. Like there's already so much unrealistic stuff that you're already suspending your disbelief way more. Whereas the less abstract something becomes and the more realistic, you lose some of your suspension and disbelief because you're able to, um... Something. Analogous to reality, that's what he said. The, the more realistic you make a game, uh, the more you make a game analogous to reality, the more you have to stipulate on the circumstances. Because the more distance you have mentally, the less questions you're gonna ask, you know? All right. Oh, no space. This good stuff. Oh, whoops. Can I? Nope. Can I? Please. Okay. Let's drop these spoiled apricorns. Oh. All right, 
Back to the bug hunt, baby. Where are they at, though? They're a bit squirrely, so I don't want to... They're a bit squirrely, and they like to hang out in the grass itself. Whoops. Gonna need to make more of those in a little bit. I don't see any around. Hmm. Yeah, I might need to run away for a bit so they can respawn. Well, let's go find another good spot for him. Because I saw some more over this way last night. So... Probably more in this direction. Oops. I miss. Okay. No. Come back here. No, come back here. Ah, dear. Don't worry about me. It's okay. You. Nope, that was my last Pokeball. Well, let's craft some more. Oops. I hate this system. This inventory system sucks. It's so convoluted. It's the max, man. However many I can. Cool. All right. Right. There we go. Yeah, my ratio of catching without being spotted is not great, but should be fine. Should be fine. I'm just trying to get the cots up for now. I think that was a cricketot sound. Excuse me, are there any out here? Do I know? Do I know? Ba, 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 ba. Whatever's happened to it. Okay. Hmm. Guess I gotta go much further afield. Wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, this is where I gotta get that Will of the Wisp for the one thing. Oh.
right. Ooh, can I get an Abra? I think I can. See me. Hey. Nice. There's, oh, there's some weasels over there. Is there any big ones? I need a big weasel. Whoops. Big one, but Need to get it eventually. There we go. Yeah, I guess I'm always getting ahead of myself when it comes to saying that because. Who knows when it'll actually happen. go ooh, ooh, I see him over there they always get so far away from the grass nope. ah saw me ah, get back here ah. It's all right, it's all right. I can manage. Get him. Come on, get him. Oh, you. No, no, no. I'm getting you. There you go. Back here. Ah. That's a Starly, I don't care. Already filled out your Pokedex. Later. Easy. Over there? Over there, perhaps? Bam! Nice! Dip. Dip. Ah, dip. Hmm. 
Hmm? Nope. All right, all right. <coughs> and I gotta be on the lookout for... What do I do to make the, uh... Tumble stones and apricorns. Okay. That one is Oran berry, so that's not very helpful. Hmm. Oh, I can get some tumble stones over there. Ah, you butternut squad. Interesting. They'll run away way before they should have been able to see you. Nope. Alright, what you got, Rowlet? It's Burmy. Let's hit him with a gentle, a little gentle one. Let's just hit him with a gentle bit of leafage. That's fine. Snap. Stop struggling, bug. Heavy ball. Nice. Got him. Got him. I actually get the stuff. Stone. Oh, I don't have space for this stone. So we're gonna have to drop something. Hmm. Let's just give her that. And then ah, the tumble stone's gone. Yep. Oh wait. There it is. Well, that's all right. I need to go farm some stuff. And uh, actually, let's let's evolve our guys. Let's evolve Badoof. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> nice. Now we got a bibberal. Hmm. Do I want to evolve Rowlet yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not going to hold back forever, but... I also don't want to do it quite yet. Ah. 
No. Oh, dip. Nope, nope. Come on. Five. Five is something. I think I'm going to try and get this one. And then I'm going to uh, go farm some tumblestone. Okay, that's a big weasel, which I need. Let's actually, let's take him out. All right. Strong, wait, no, actually we want strong style. Nice, ooh, don't kill him. Perfect. Woo! No! Ah, my Rowlet. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna switch to... Pikachu, yeah. Pikachu will be able to withstand for a turn or two. And we are going to use a heavy ball. Come on now. Get him. Hmm? Nice. A big alpha weasel. Awesome. Get out of here, weasel. I ain't here for you. Whoa! Ah, uh, dip. Nope, you're not getting right. Okay. Okay, let's pick up some tumble stones and then hang it. Actually, I'm supposed to get the Will of the Wisp from this area, right? Let's let's look for that. Ah, see it over there. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Ooh, ooh, there it is. Cool. Uh, yeah. Got it. And I got a large weasel. That is black tumblestone. It's yeah, over there. Plenty of it. Whoops. Dip. Um. Oh, yeah, I don't need a ball of mud. Need some tumble stone. Okay, okay. Is this one moving? Can't tell if that's a trick in my eye or just something I haven't uh, run into yet. Up, up, up we go. Ah. 
no, don't do it. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Gonna be a Geo dude, right? Yep. Boo boy. Um. <laughs> what? I'm getting double fought. Hold on now. Strong style hit. Double hit, strong style. Okay. It'd be nice if they actually made it, you know, avoiding the hit, but whatever. Run away! Yeah, we're gonna just... That. Then get... Get back home. I'm pretty sure I also have some stored. Hello. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, let's do it. It's mostly cricket tots. Getting close to the next rank. Return to the village. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. And I will uh, turn in some of these requests. can't go to good night's sleep like this. Huh! Don't scare me like that. No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need. Come back later, all right? Hmm, maybe a survey core type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels, feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple times, and once in a while I hear something clatter. So, survey court kid, go survey my quarters. Figure out what's happening. Hmm. Let's do it at night, would you? I've got to be at work during the day. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Let me just... Have you brought me a bigger weasel? Yeah, I have. Here you go. Yep. Good gravy. Never expected you bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one, though. One that's at least around two foot eight would be great. What? That is a large weasel. How much bigger you need your weasel? How do I look at my Pokemon? Hmm. How much bit? Uh, fine. All right. Let's check it out. Ready to investigate my place? I'm ready. Let's do it. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, okay? Hmm. I mean, aren't too many nooks and crannies to begin with. Cloth has been pulled to one side, and is that a hair on the hem? A short black hair? Oh, 
Okay, okay. Oh. It's full of rolled up architectural plans. There's a sketch of a Magikarp too. Perhaps it's part of the plans for Galaxy Hall. It's full of neatly folded uniforms. Save the mirror for last. That seems like it's going to be spooky. Huh? Investigate. The closet door is open just a crack. Do you want to peek inside? Take a peek. There's some weird clothes and a cape inside. Hmm? What ho? There's a faint smell. Seems like berries have been present here. There was a noise from the entryway. I want to investigate the mirror. It's a cloth draped neatly over the mirror. Brought back. Oh, nothing. Well, that's disappointing. Doesn't seem you've solved my mystery yet. Need a break or something? Not yet. Okay. Here then. Oh, what's that? You heard something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. You saw sparks fly for a moment. Seems like something ran by you. There was a noise from back near the closets. Take a peek. Maybe he... Oh, I see him. Ah! You! You little bugger. Sir Vicar Kid, are you alright? I heard this strange noise. I gotta catch him. Wait a minute, this Pichu, could it be? It might sound absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. A berry? For me? What, because I fixed you up? Joe. Wait, so the thing haunted my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless. To think I was afraid it was some spine-chilling thing. Regardless, I owe ya. I have a token of my gratitude. An I have Barry. Cool. Oh, that was fun. Big weasel, little weasel. There we go. Where's the one? Uh, that one. What? I caught it, though. Hold on, it's not sending me out. Why is it sending me out? I got it! Red Will-O-The-Wisp. Oh. It's a whole other thing. Okay. Huh. <sighs> So am I missing any right now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't have ten. Twenty-one. Or twenty-four and twenty-five. Let's go. See if we can find any more. Um... Well, actually, let's go back and, uh... Get this stuff. To make a bunch of Pokeballs. Or no, that's not what I want. 
In fact, I don't even have the stuff I want. Not oh, yep. I thought I had more stuff here. Well, let's uh let's do some crafting. Why'd they bother giving me a crafting kit? Or why did they bother even explaining regular uh crafting areas? I have crafting kit. Like I can just craft any time. I have had no reason to go to the actual crafting areas. It's weird. Oh, let's take some stuff out. Hmm. Sold at a high price, you say? <laughs> All right. Well, let's go sell this nugget. I'm curious what the exchange rate is going to be. Traditionally, they'd be a thousand poke dollars, so here they are. Ten thousand. Nice. Hang on to that. <sighs> uh, let's see if there's any requests on the board. Teach me. Teach me. All right. Maybe later. Let's go. Uh, let's go. There's, oh, there's a weird line on the capture. What is that? Oh, 503, what? What's going on here? Oh, that's my sound alerts panel. Weird. Let me see if I can refresh that. Okay, that fixed it. Sorry. I hope that wasn't bugging y'all for too long. I only just noticed. All right. Let's go see if we can find that red will o' the wisp. Height scamp. Height scamp. Height scrap. Height blank. All right, we gotta get over to windswept run. No, 
don't want that one. Ah, dip. Is it already daytime? Man. Okay. These aren't cricket tot. Parasect. Look at him go. Look at him go. Or is it just Paris? Let's find out. It is Paris. The big one is Parisect, I suppose. Yeah, let's do a uh, weak one. Kill it. Nice. Good work. Um, and then we're gonna just throw a Pokeball. Classic. Oh. Another one over here, eh? Nice. Oh, come on. They just throw another ball. I don't need that many. Nice. Nature's Pantry. That's not where I need to be. Windswept Run is the spot. Oh. Aggressive bug. There's some cricket tats. Stop. There we go. Nice. Ooh. An alpha. I don't know if I want to mess with that. He's got a mustache. Who gave him that? Who gave him mustache? Well, it's not gonna matter because I'm just around this whole situation. Clean. 
Okay. Gotta get some tumble stone while I can. with me. Check, but I'll get him after this set. Ah, uh, no! Oh, he's getting away! No, don't use my great balls! Well, dip, I missed out on him. That's fine. Then let's check the Pokedex. Um. I need four more without being spotted. I need to take out like 10 of them. I need to give them food. Evolve one, okay. Hmm, well let's switch one, in let's switch one into my party. Hmm. I'll switch one into my party when I get back. Um, give them food. Yeah, food. Got mushrooms. Got honey cakes. And some honey cakes. Cake, pal. Let's go back up. Yeah. 
Hmm. Well, I need to defeat one. So let's switch to Rowlet. Yeah, this one. I hit him with aerial ace. Easy. Easy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch to fighting them for a little bit. Gotta defeat them. It ain't matter if you keep your guard up. Aerial Ace. right for you. Nice. Now let's do one more so we get something to report when we head back. Let's try and do one more. my there's my query Just got a text. Apparently, your movie sucks. Lion King 2019 is finally up. Part one, though. Almost three hours. Who he's got a lot to say about that movie. Um. But, uh, yeah. Good. Good on him for finally getting it out, though. Because I've been waiting forever. So the whole thing is going to be almost six hours, I think. That's bonkers, but more content is always good with me. All right, let's swing on back. Well, actually, let's just report our stuff and heal up, you know? Nice. OK, 
continue. Uh, wait a minute. I want to see my Pokemon. We're going to bring our highest level Krikatot. I think I have like a... 10 at least. Nope, none. Okay. Move that in. Swap it for Boizel. I could use a wrist. Until evening, and then I'm gonna actually take a quick break from the stream, but don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be our back with more Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute. All right, BRB. Come on. Come on.
All right, I have returned. Here we go. So yeah, we're gonna go fight some more Cricketot. And uh, then we're gonna look for that Will of the Wisp, that red one, after that. You know, once it gets to be nighttime. So let's give it a shot. Now, deer track heights. They don't have deer though, they have Stantler. I think it's called the deer Pokemon, but that's not the same as a deer. And also, how would they know what a deer is? Hmm. Hmm, I say. Quite odd. Just gonna be a Burmy if I go after that. Wait, what do I have? Oh, is it just there? That'd be a bit disappointing if it just like points you straight at it. Oh, there's some Cryptot. Here we go. Ah, you. Butternut squash. I'm right in the back. I'm just gonna hit him with aerial ace right off. Right off the bat. Another one in the bank. Oh, you're involved in this too? Hit him. It's gonna hit you with the ball. Uh, it should be bad. Nope. We got right out, eh? Let's try one more. Yeah, that did it. What, what, what can I find? Oh, don't worry about that guy. Get my problem. Knock it off. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Okay. It's not specifically. Uh, uh. Hmm. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. It's not. That's Chimchar. What is this? Uh-oh, 
Now Rowlet. Now Rowlet. Gotta switch my Pokemon. Shellos is water type. Hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. What am I gonna do? Don't, don't kill him. Oh. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yep, that's what I thought. Let's try it again. Let's let's do this. Is like a gentle tap. One more. Don't kill. Don't kill. Ah. Okay. Hey, and I can evolve my cricket tot. Skip this. Can I skip this, please? Nope. Just gonna run up and slap it. Just run up and give it a whoop. Yep, he hit it. There we go. Okay, uh, first thing. Gonna evolve. Do it! Do it! Whoa. A mustache. Cool. Got that all dealt with. Actual will of the wisps out here. I'd like. If there are, I'd like them. the tip top nice hmm okay um i could go turn that in Maybe take out some more cricket tots first. Oof. Oh, I survived though. That's good. Hmm. 
Hmm. What to do? What to do? Ah, there he is. Get out ready to get cut. You gonna get cut? Aerial Ace. Two more. Two more would be good. Good, good, good. I makes 15, perfect. All right, all right. Up the many chasmed cliffs we go. to me. Nice. Ooh, I'm getting tantalizingly close to the finish. Or rather to the uh, next level. Let's go turn these in. Where exactly? Yeah, that's the one. Hello. Yeah, the will of the the wish. Oh, I gotta wait till nighttime. Do that. So let's see here. I caught that weasel, but I guess it wasn't enough. Let's go get the info on this. <laughs> Hello, Yota. You're here about my Ponytail request, right? Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem. Ponyta like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. It looks so different than the other Ponyta, it's a little scary to be honest. When I told the professor he got all excited about researching it, so we agreed to have the Ponyta surveyed and see what's what. If you'd head to the Horseshoe Plains and catch that strange Ponyta for us, it'd really help us out. Um, let's... Let's see what this is about. Be 
keep on keeping on there, pal. I feel like you'd probably want a bigger axe. So, you've accepted my request to look into that drift loom. I can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We'd heard reports that a drift loon was playing with one of the village children over on Prelude Beach in the evenings. It seemed like odd behavior for a Pokemon, so all of us in the security corps worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. There was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a drift loon. But well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon, we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find out the truth behind the Drifloon and the child has been playing with. Where is Prelude Beach? Where is Prelude Beach at, though? Okay, well, I'll figure that out later. Ground type, still don't got one. Heart the cranes, looking for them. Hello. Mm, oh, hello, dearie. Shinon sent you out searching for a medicinal plant, did she? That'll be our three-leaved little helper, then. Shinon doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Mirelands. Poor Shinon will get quite a shock if she finds out, so bring it back to me instead, would you? Best of luck on your search, dearie. Okay. Wait, was Prelude Beach where I started? Since it's called Prelude. This sounds like it makes sense, but... Eerie apparitions in the night. Alright, still working on that. Uh, yep, working on those. Alright, let's, uh... R. Oh. Am I not allowed to look at these? Quite alright, I suppose. Let's, uh... Let's switch to... Well, I know who that one is. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hold on. I did turn it on, right? Yeah. Hmm... You sure this one isn't big enough? You speak big boy. Yeah. Ah, okay, so I accidentally picked the wrong one last time. Well, I'll be. I didn't think they could get this much bigger. Look at them side by side. They almost look like a parent and its child. I wonder if there's room for me in that little family. Look how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. The big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is, don't you think? Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending which one's bigger. Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. Thank you for the favor. I know you Survey Corps folks' work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. Okay. Can I leave now? I guess I can't leave from this side. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Where is Prelude Beach? Is it 
Where indeed? Nope, not here. Hmm. Well, there's some stuff I can do regardless. Let's ride. Not you, not you. Oh, that's the one. Wait, that's not a ponytail, that's a rapid dash. Well, regardless. I don't think this is a great idea, but let's do it. Hey, you. Oh, no. That's not good for me. That's a level 40. I just said about some other time. Goodbye. I guess it specifically said Ponyta. Hmm. Oh, it's a shiny. Get nice. How do I get back to Prelude Beach? There's where I started, right? Hmm. I don't know. Not certain, frankly. Let's get out of here. Yeah. That's a little sum. I mean, it's a new entry, so that's probably some points. All right. Turn to the village, and I think I'm going to continue the story now. It's about time. Here we go. See, so you got that strange ponyta. You Survey Corps folks sure don't mess around. 
You know, a friend of mine from Galar was surprised when he saw Ponyta herds out in the field lands. He couldn't wrap his head around their fiery manes. At the time, I thought it was an odd thing to be amazed by. But now that I know some Ponyta have blue flames, it's not such a stretch to think that there might be all sorts of them out there. I'm not just talking about Ponyta, mind. Who knows how many differently colored Pokemon there are in the world. I hope the Survey Corps keeps trying its level best to research them all. All right. Ooh. All right, here we go. Time to finally head to the Crimson Mirelands. To the Crimson Mirelands. To the Crimson Mirelands. Here we go. Here we are, my girl, the Crimson Mirelands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokémon and plenty of others besides. Seems like you're in for a tough mission. I'm sure you can handle it, though. Oh, that's right. You're heading to the Selaceon Ruins, aren't you? They're off that way if you need a pointer. See the entrance way over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. Whoa! You know, I wish we could tell where or when one of those space-time distortions was going to erupt. I wonder if checking your map would help. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey as work as best you can, but be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokémon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Sizu teach, you po teach your Pokémon some strong moves. Yes, yes, of course. Actually, let's go without him to begin here. What's that? That's one of those... That's one of those guys, yeah? Oh, no, actually, I don't know that guy. I don't know him. No. No, leave me alone. Okay. Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, that's a Paris. Cool. That's just a bit of a choke. And that's some good rock. Dumbo stones. Wait, what's this? Master farm, that's new. There's a Psyduck. Oh, what's up? Whoa. Oh, and a cricket. Cricket's eye. I can keep up. Keep up my uh, whole situation I was working on. Nice. Hmm. Another one of those guys. They look a bit peculiar. What's up? Dodging is everything. Everything. When a wild Pokemon's lashing out at you with its moves, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and not hit you. Yeah, I knew that. Well, you said I thought I didn't know that. I'm going to get a How about I'm dodging? What are you doing with that Badoof? What are you doing with him? Oh, what's up? I'm Kalaba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Kalaba to you. Oh, now would you look at that. You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I've already heard about you. Did you quell Cleavor and his frenzy? I'm sure many people were saved by your actions. I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. 
What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry? I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady Arezu offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Ah, Iggy. How about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. A battle with you might let me experience even the fraction of the power of the noble's wield. I totally butchered that line. What's up? Dogapi. Look at little guy. Beat him up. Ooh, this might be a little dicey. Let's go with strong style leafage. Oh, that's pretty good. A couple of those. Oh man. No. I'm gonna try. Let's try actually strong style dust. Mm, yeah, that was good. No! Oh man. It's gonna heal right back up. Man. You guys are weak. Listen out, Ponyta. Hit him with a uh, flame wheel. Classic. Yeah, that was pretty good. Hit him with another one. Training cash. Please don't heal up very much. Good. Good. You stay burnt. Ooh, very close. Yeah. All right, once more. And there we go. <laughs> Gibble. Oh, hello. No. No. All right, what do we got? Um, let's go with Pikachu. Pikachu can use Swift. Well, that's at least a little something. Actually, let's do strong style quick attack. Because even though it's a strong style, it's quick. Please don't kill. No! Oh, dip. Oh, we got some stuff here. Mm. Hold on, what's most? This one's strongest. Oh! Oh, almost. Okay. There we go. Now I got it. Gigabolt. Nice. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. Hey, good. I'm glad you liked it. Such prodigious strength. Now, let me just heal up your Pokemon. I appreciate it. Well, now, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Silesian ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? 
They're a trio of bandits that have even hit us ginkgo guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. So what do you say, kind madam? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swiped my wares too, and I'm no ginkgo guild merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it for me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Mirelands camp. Perhaps worth checking out? Okay. Well... Uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Well, yeah. Oh, okay, that is part of the quest, I guess. That's okay. Let's give him some food. Let's give him a Oran Berry. Okay. Mother, you want a tasty snack? Okay, bud. Okay, bud. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Let me out. Let me out. Dang it. That's a camp with a fire. It's a burned out campfire. Somebody must have been here. Now who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. Ah. It's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong she was to assume she could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I ill luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. I thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win, and tails, you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest, coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We're the infamous bandit trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll only hurt her a little. Come on, Toxicroak. Let's douse this fool in poison. Have you got just the one? I've got no problem dealing with that. Oh man, well, that's not great for me. Ooh, a couple super effectives. Let's send out shellos. Fight. Strong style mud slap. Ah, be nice. Don't do it, don't do it. No. Mm, let's do the Pikachu. Well, yeah, we can also do Bonita. Strong style. Mm. 
Gotcha. Battle decided. Not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Yeah, Shapoosh. Hmm, the galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. I did it. The weird writing on it made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. But turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. Tch, all that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I wanted to help Ursula. Goodness, how selfless of you. You go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lash by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool! Well, all right. Stomp. Crunch, crunch. Crushed. All right, now I need to just not be a fool. There we go. The cricket tot respawn. Nope. Oh, well. All right, I'm back. Good work, very good work indeed, Iggy. You got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Kalaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old fashioned, and so on, but she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy, Iggy. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. What's up? Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. His wall fragment. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? Guess you're that eager to calm her Saluna, hmm? That's right. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for her Saluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And there we go. Good as new. All. L li all, all lives touch oi 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 other all lives touch other lives to uh appease appear a ap mm. op open op Something to op 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 operate. What is that one? Something anew and alive. Let me read what's oh. Well. All lives touch other lives to create create. Okay, to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance? What is your name then, girl? I see. Iggy. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle. 
That's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursula Luna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Will do. Five hundred. Five hundred meters, I presume. Get the heck out of here. Get the heck out. Let me up. Let me up. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, whoa, a will the wisp now? Thought they only showed up at nighttime. Huh. Tangela! My boy. Love him. Let me give him snack. Snack, my boy. Snack for the little man. Okay, catch up. Oh, they're so much bigger than I always imagined. Nice. No! No, come back! Oh no, he wants to fight. I will not. Not fight now. They're stunky. I don't trust this sludge here. That's like a hippo. Some sort of hippopotamus. There's a not a toxic rope, the one before that. Guessing they expect me to do a bunch of like catching and stuff here, so I might be kind of under leveled, but we'll find out when we get there, you know. Okay, that is just a bit of a joke. It's just strange light. What's up? What's up? Hello there. So you're the sort of a court child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help us setting up our new base camp? We're making one up by the box. Our Odo could sure use someone as capable as you. He's a fresh construction corps recruit, still learning the ropes. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Over here, Ricky. Ursaluna is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. That's the only song you guys got? Okay. Hey. Now, show your medal to Ursaluna. Remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Oh, I am severely underleveled. Oh, let's do flame whale. Oh no, that did like nothing. No! Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm in bad shape. Let's send out Ricky too. Zord. As long as he does in one shot, I can probably absorb again. Oh good, 13. Yep, I'm dead. Ah, dip. 
Maybe I could hit him with the Thunder Wave. Oh, no. Well, shoot. Failed. Ah, dip. Yeah, I gotta go do some training. Hmm. How do I get over there? What do I do to get over there? But really, I have to go all the way around. Ugh. Okay. What is this? Pile of junk. Okay. So there's no way over right now. Well, dip. Can I? Okay. Oh, that's how you get the grain. Ooh. Oh, it's ghastly. Hold on. Oh, you left. Okay. What? Oh. Oh. Ghastly just moved over here, I see. Let's get him! Now. Super effective. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Hoping to catch him, but okay. A hunter. Get him. Well, dip. That's not great. Mud slap is good, I guess. Oh, he's swimming. Look at him swim. Standard mud slap. And another standard mud slap. Well, not what I meant to do, but okay. Nice. Got it. So 
sweet, sweet, sweet. Soot foot, root. That's just a little frog. I'm gonna see, yeah, one more of those grains. That's a big hippo. That's a little hippo. That didn't give me any grains. You want the grains? Plus, that's what I'm looking for. It's probably more on that side, huh? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's a stack. There's a fat stack of grain. No more grain, eh? Whoa. Ooh, the space-time distortions are cool, but I can't, I can't even get over there anyways. It's on the wrong side. Arf, arf, arf. Here's a bridge. Well, so I can get over here. Okay. Uh-oh, that's not who I was trying to fight. Oh, just level 18, that's not so bad. Aerial Ace. Yowch. Let's throw a Pokeball. Nice, caught him. Rogun is a bit more of a problem for me. Let's, uh... Oh, dip, we don't really have many options. Uh, Pikachu. Thunder... Thunder Shock. Another one. Oop. And then Pokeball. Give it to me. Yes. And then let's see in my bag. I mean, I got the hardy grains I needed. Cool. So I am actually going to fast travel back, heal up. Oh, dip. Am I safe now? 
Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Iggy, I think you've got something stuck to you. Hmm? Oh, hello. Was that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Silesian Sil ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Iggy. An own... What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section I've just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Oh. Okay. Cool. I could use a rest. Actually, I want to see my Pokemon. I think we're gonna bring Hunter into the team. And how big is, oh yeah. Oh yeah, well it's just grass. Poison fighting, I don't wanna go too hard on the poison. I could use a rest. Just a little while. Nice. All right, I'm gonna take a break, and then uh, I will, I think I'll go for a little longer to try and train up, and then try another shot at that Ursaluna. But don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be right back with more Pokemon Legends Arceus in just a minute. Okay, okay.
There it is. Hello. Hello again. I grabbed myself a snack of some hummus toast. So I'll be taking bites of that as I uh, play here. But yeah, we're just going to be grinding for a minute. Hold on. Hmm. Good toast. Let's see. What's up, but do? I'll catch that. Of course. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. So yeah, just being in a different region now, catching is like giving me a ton of XP. Look at that. Look at that XP climb. Nice, nice, nice. Nope. Well. Gonna be grinding anyways. It's not worth it. Actually, break all this. Whoa. Mm, bam. Bam. I'll switch to the regular Pokeball. I actually don't think I need Great Ball as much for these guys. Nope, he got away. Whoops. All right, let's fight then. Whoops. get one of these guys too. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Gonna craft some Pokeballs.
If side duck so smart, why do side duck not see me? That's what I thought. Okay then. Fight me if that's what you really want. a little more. I think I'm probably good, but you know, just to be safe. I'm already grinded anyways. Fine if you don't want to get caught. Then perish. Oh, more oh, jeez. I suppose Ponyta will do it. Uh, jump back. I, oh. oh, it got like turned. I messed with my head for a minute. Let's take another crack at Ursa Luna. Feel pretty good about it this time. It's a lovely stroll in the Scribs of Myrlands, isn't it? Just 
Just hopping right along. Oops, sorry, I was taking a drink of water. Oh, come on, dude. I ain't here for you. All right. What you got? Now show your medal to Ursaluna. I remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. Okay, we are even. Can't catch him. Have to fight him. Sure. So strong style. It's uh, not great. But uh get a couple in at least. Give give Hunter a shot. Alright, get poisoned. Uh oh. Poisoning is certainly going to help a lot. We're going to do one of strong style. Yeah, there we go. One second. Ursaluna, my poor darling. You must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have here special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxigon. Bleh. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon, like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've come down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleavor's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. When no such strange light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, what was he glowing? And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It looks like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Arezu. Now why did she of all people find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Ursaluna opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. He received the Earth Plate. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say that he's digging for treasure, even if those treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. You can now call Ursaluna and dig for treasure. Ursaluna will rush toward any treasure he senses in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure when Ursaluna finds a spot that makes him react particularly strongly. You might find something very, very nice. 
Cool. Well, we did it. Let's go report back. And I'm going to call it a day, I think. <coughs> All right, let's report the findings. Come on, baby. Help me level up. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Splendiferous results. I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Celine, eh? I'd get right on that if I were you. So what would you like to do now? Into the village. Right oh with a same thing he always says. You're back! Get to the commander's office quick! Oh jeez, we gotta go, we gotta go. What's up, what's up, what's up? Four. Oh, hey. What's up? Iggy, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lilligant, our clan's Lady of the Rich, is in a frenzy. And Arezu knowingly kept this from me. Yes, there are only, on, there are only female Lilligant, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Rich. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Arezu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilife Village. The last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of pato potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Arezu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation with the raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We would be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you've put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Iggy, perhaps you have some idea how we might address this situation. I can call her Saluda. Ursaluna? So he and Warden Kalaba found you worthy? That's perfect then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out a Rezu, wherever she's gone. You are strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, and you should be able to you should you should be ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. We'll head to Lilligan's seat then. Brava Arena it's called. You'll excuse me. Listen well, Iggy. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Alright. Well, that is gonna have to wait till next time. That'll be it for today, everybody, but thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to uh, follow and subscribe if you haven't yet. Check out all my socials down below, including my YouTube, my Twitter, my uh, YouTube archive for all of the past streams. Um, there's a tip jar, if you'd be so kind. Uh, the Discord is open to everybody, you know? So check it all out. And uh, yeah, I'll be playing more of this next, ooh, actually, next weekend is the charity stream. So come check that out. We're gonna be benefiting Wigs for Kids and I'm going to, at the end of the stream, cut my hair to donate it to Wigs for Kids. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. So come around next Saturday for that. I'll be going pretty much all day playing Banjo-Kazooie. I'm gonna 100% it in one run. So that'll be pretty sweet. So check all of that out. Hope to see you there. Hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. And hey, no one else has told you this. I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right. Let's see who we have to raid over.
Let me go to the end screen. Sorry, I accidentally muted myself out of instinct. Who is streaming? I believe Evil was streaming earlier. Yeah, he still got it. He's playing Jackbox. So if you guys like Jackbox, go check it out. Let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Hope to see you all next week. Oh, come on. Load her in. Ah, sometimes it doesn't work immediately. Okay, there it is. Goodbye. A goodbye. A goodbye.